Brown here. That was my summer holiday. See, it's the middle of summer here in New Zealand and I try to get away as much as I can. The East Coast beaches are the ideal spot, so that's what I've been doing for the last few weeks. I've been itching to make videos. I try to relax, I try. It's not easy though. Now it is still summer here, so I'm going to try and go to some beaches again, but uh, there's a lot of work to carry on with, which is a good thing. I fixed the plug on this by the way, that's all it was, a loose plug. I'm really happy that I sorted this drawer out before the new year as well. Ugh. Just makes things so much easier. The uh, other thing I've been doing while I was away at the beach was uh, TikTok videos. Yeah, that's right. I've joined TikTok and I thought, why not? 15 second videos, it's an interesting way to edit and uh, you can add music. Coming very soon will be the review on this saw here, the 36 volt rear handle Makita. If you can't wait for that, it's really good and it's really powerful. At some stage this year I'll fix this, but I'd rather build stuff before I do that. And I'm sure I'll be catching up with Cameron and Pido on that very soon. And speaking of Cameron, check out what he gave me for Christmas. It's a brand new 32mm Two Cherries chisel to add to my collection of Two Cherries chisels. But the plan today is to drive this fan of mine to a place called the Warren. I'll explain what the Warren is when we go there, but let's just say I've been wanting to go there for a while. Before we do, check this out. Remember this? The Airbo, the framing nailer? Well, they've come out with a new one. Now this one is bigger and it has a different, oh my god, it has a different purpose. <laughs> This is the Airbo Concrete Nailer, and it's a beast. Look at that. You could definitely kill an alien with this. I think it has something like three and a half times the air capacity per nail. And that's what allows it to go through 50 MPA concrete, steel like that. No gunpowder, no batteries, just air. From what I understand, the Warren is a community workshop. I'll let, I'll let them describe it a bit better when we get there. And we're nearly there. Found a park, and right outside. This is perfect. Wow. This is Chris. Hey. How are you, mate? I'm Scott. Nice to meet you. I suppose the workshop was born out of like a real frustration of people wanting me to make things for them, and so, <laughs> and so like I ended up, you know, coming up with this idea of building a space where people yeah. can come in here and we can pass that knowledge on to people and so get them can... to learn the skills themselves. So the Warren runs workshops pretty much. And... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we run short courses and pretty much everything we run is designed for beginners. Yeah. And so you can come along with no prior woodworking knowledge at all and we'll teach you all the, the basics of the health and safety around using all the machinery yeah. and usher you through and get you to learn a whole bunch of new skills. 
Yeah, it's cool, man. It's yeah, so cool, there really man. is a wide variety of things that people yeah. are doing. Yeah, I mean, we kind of just realized that um, we don't just have to do woodwork. So yeah, all the sarking, all the oh, match, wow. all that match line that's up there, all the all the weatherboards, these doors came from it. And then you even made a mirror. Damn, you put some hours into this, thing. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like um, the Godfather. <laughs> Stick the gun behind there. What's this? A little... Paper towel dispenser. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> well done. <laughs> no, working, huh? That controls the line up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you get a lot of foot traffic? Like people just walking yeah, past and yeah. poking their head? Yeah, like because there's a um, parking building there and then there's the markets next door as well. What is this? <laughs> uh, coffee table. Okay. That's our friend Kevin. Yeah. And um, he's an architect and a jewellery maker and a woodworker and he's just a real polymath. And so that is basically the form for the leg, and then there'll be a top that sits on the top of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He cast that as well. Oh my gosh. It's solid plastic. Yeah. It's <laughs> pretty nice. That's awesome. Yeah. What do you think the likelihood of it staying I think together it should is? I pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because the positivity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, when did you pull this? Yesterday. Yesterday, okay. Yeah. yeah. What would the top be made out of? Um, I'm thinking to do another concrete um, square casting. Get a coffee cup in your way. Cup. <laughs> it's an extension of like art college. Right. There's so many people that go to art school and they get these amazing workshops and then they finish art school and then they're like stranded. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think it's really nice like having like a continuation of that. And there's quite a few people that come in that, that yeah, don't have that, yeah, that pass yeah. day. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that was super cool. Like I said, I've been meaning to visit that place for quite a while and it was worth the wait. They run so many different workshops, I hope I did a good enough job of, you know, showing it. We actually just spent a lot of time talking about building and he, he's a plumber as well, so he's working as a plumber full time and then doing this workshop at night. It's amazing. And right in the middle of Auckland City. Huh. Well, that was another exciting episode, guys. First one of 2020. Looking forward to making more coming soon.